life coach, but I'm not just life coach, I'm also a mom and a housewife and I love cooking and baking. So I'm going to be sharing with you today cookies, um, I think origin of those cookies is in the Middle East or Italy, some place where they grow a lot of pistachios. Chances are it's probably Italian. Italians do grow pistachios. And um, these are pistachio cookies, but instead of pistachio flour, I will be using hazelnut. And um, because I happen to have a jar of hazelnut flour, and you can't keep the nut flowers, the brown nuts, for too long because they do turn bitter all the time. So these are wonderful cookies. I made them with pistachio and I made them with hazelnut. Uh, you can even use almond milk. Whatever you have uh, will work. And you can combine a couple different nuts. That works as well. So I'm making a double batch but I will be giving you a recipe for a single batch. So, um, one lemon ground. So, a zest of a single lemon. And I already have one lemon there. And since I'm making a double batch, this is my Christmas cookie baking. I double and triple certain recipes. So in the interest of time, so I don't have to do it twice, I will make a double batch and hope you'll forgive. And I'll put the recipe in the box as well. Then add half a cup of sugar and two cups of either pistachio flour uh, hazelnut in my case, it's much nuttier. Uh, or a mix of two or three. They all work. And I'm using hazelnut. And this jar is perfect. It has four cups. Now, mix it up a little bit. So the bot bail sure gets in, incorporated. These are gluten free. And I usually for Christmas do make a few different cookies that are gluten free for people who are not well, don't eat flour. Then we're gonna add some vanilla. Half a teaspoon. Lemon, vanilla, it's all a wonderful combination. Nut flour. And then I will add two egg whites. I already separated them. Sorry. One egg white. And since I'm making a double batch, I'm adding two. But in your case, it's one. And then a tablespoon and a half of good honey. I buy this honey um, and I'm not a stock owner. I'm just, uh, I'm a household and I respect good products, honest products. And this is a wonderful, wonderful honey. Never heated, never mixed up with anything. And I'll scrape it. So you're adding a tablespoon and a half. These are amazing cookies. So once it's all mixed up, I will shake them. Let's see, two cups of nut flour, half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of honey, half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, one zest of lemon, one large egg white, and then um, they are, when they're shaped, they are pressed 
into the powdered sugar. So they have that crinkle uh, look of them. I'll show you how I do them. That's it. So I have two batches and I will shake them really quickly. And I'll show how they look. Okay. okay, just a little bit, roll in the bowl, this big, roll in the powdered sugar, press a little bit. That's it. Kids could do it as usual, child friendly. I'm going to make a bunch and then roll them at the same time because my hands get sticky. if I put them in the powdered sugar. And when they bake, they become crinkly from the powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is more for decoration. You don't have to put too much. And essentially, it's like this. You don't want to press them, don't press them. Very simple, and I'll probably have quite a few of these. And they are awesome fillers. They're tasty. They look pretty. All right, this is how they look. This is a double batch. This is my finger, so you see they're not ginormous. Uh, they're bite size. I roll them and I press them a little bit, and they're going in the oven 350 degrees for 15, 18 minutes. And uh, they'll dry up a little bit, and you'll see how they look. All right, this is how they look. They're all finished. They are uh, a little hard. They smell delightfully. Hazelnuts and a little lemon and a touch of vanilla. Wonderful combination. They're done. They're amazing fillers um, with all the other cookies that I'm making. And they're delicious. Try them, please.